Meds users and friends. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Carla. I am the Director of Education at Needy Meds. And today I will teach you how to find patient assistance resources on the Needy Meds website. Before we get started, I want to go over a few things. Feel free to ask any questions you may have by typing them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know that I will reserve answering questions until the end. If I don't get the chance to answer your specific question, I will follow up with you personally after the webinar by tomorrow morning. Of course, I'll provide my contact information at the end should you have any other questions. And this webinar is being recorded and will be available for viewing on our YouTube channel, which I will direct you to during our presentation. So with that, let's get started. For those of you that are not familiar with Needy Meds, there's a snapshot of our homepage. And I always put that up because really our website is the face of our organization. Needy Meds is a national nonprofit founded in 1996 by retired physician, Dr. Richard Sagal, who is our current president. Rich discovered patient assistance programs and wanted every patient and physician to know about them. So he began by creating this website. What you're looking at on your screen now is our updated mission statement and all the fancy wording about how we achieve it and what our vision statement is as well. But how I explain Needy Meds is simple. Needy Meds connects people to programs free and anonymously through our website and helpline that will help them afford their healthcare expenses. Most importantly, how do you find cost savings programs for your healthcare needs on the Needy Meds website. So if you'll bear with me, I'll transition out of our PowerPoint and onto the live Needy Meds website so I can walk you through just that. Now before we get into all of the cost savings programs, I want to point out two things. I mentioned the Needy Meds YouTube channel. At the top right hand of our page, you'll notice a bunch of social media icons. The third one from the left is the icon for our YouTube channel. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on that because we record and convert into videos all of our webinars. So it's a great resource. I also wanna share one other thing. At the bottom right-hand side of our page is our calendar of events. I'll refer to that later on as well, but that's where you can sign up for future webinars as well. So let's get started. Under the Patient Savings tab is where you're going to find all of your healthcare cost savings programs. And we're going to begin by talking about prescription assistance programs. And you'll see that there's a whole category dedicated to those on the top left-hand side. Prescription assistance programs are the most popular and effective ways you can save on medications. And for those of you that are not familiar with them, they are programs that are supported by pharmaceutical companies that offer free or discounted prescription drugs to those that qualify. Keep in mind that there is no law requiring pharmaceutical companies to do this. So each company runs their programs differently, and certainly not every drug will have a prescription assistance program available. When they do, eligibility requirements and applications will vary from program to program. So let's go ahead and say we're looking for assistance affording a medication called Elquist. Go ahead and click on the top left-hand hyperlink for brand, brand name drugs. When you do that, what happens is a bunch of icons pop up. What these icons do is they will let you know what assistance or resources are available for that medication. It'll let you know if a prescription assistance program is available, but it'll also let you know if it's offered through the $4 generic discount drug program, which we'll go over later, whether or not there's a coupon available for that medication. Again, we'll go over coupons later. And even if there's more information, such as support pages, which provide hyperlinks that will tell you more about that drug, or even drug videos, which is exactly what it sounds like. They're quick videos providing you with pertinent information about that medication. You'll also notice that there's an easy A to Z index to make your search simple. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the letter E for Elquist, and then when that long list of medications comes up, 
I'm going to scroll through to see if the medication I'm looking for is available. And there's Eliquis with a hyperlink. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there are those icons again. Now we know that there are some more information about this medication. There are drug videos. There are support pages. There's a coupon available. And the icon on the left indicates that there is at least one prescription assistance program available. I'm going to go ahead and click on that hyperlink. I'll make the screen a bit smaller. And you can see that there is currently a prescription assistance program available for this name brand medication. If there was more than one prescription assistance program available, the program that offers the most assistance will be listed at the top and the ones that offer the lesser assistance will be listed at the bottom. So let's talk about what you're looking at on your screen right now. At the very top, you'll see the name and the contact information for the supporting organization. That's important because you're going to want to be sure to direct all questions about the prescription assistance program to the contact information provided as opposed to needy meds. Next, you'll find the eligibility requirements section, which is really important. This lets you know who is eligible to apply. Now, as I had said in the beginning, eligibility will vary from program to program, but it is almost always based on two things, insurance coverage and income. And income is almost always based on a certain multiple of the federal poverty level guidelines. Because that's so common, we put a helpful federal poverty level income calculator right there. I'm going to show you how that works. Let's say you're an individual with an annual income of $47,500. You'll notice that I only typed in the digits. Don't type in periods, commas, or dollar signs. And that number is the same number that you would use on your tax form at the end of the year. So let's say this individual, again, he has an income of $47,500 and is supporting a family of three. That's the only information you'll need to calculate what this person's yearly income is. The results yield that this individual's yearly income is 228% of the federal poverty level. When we return to the eligibility requirements section, you can see that this individual clearly qualifies, which is great. But what happens if the calculation showed that this individual was not eligible? Maybe he found himself just above the eligibility requirements at say 305 or 310%. Well, when that happens, don't despair. If your income is slightly over the income limit, call the program and ask the program to make what is called an economic hardship exception. They do that all the time. If the first representative turns you down, call again and re-represent your case. You may find someone with a more sympathetic ear. And at that point, if you are still denied, you can appeal. And finally, let's say that the appeal wasn't successful or the drug doesn't offer a prescription assistance program. You can call the drug company directly and ask them to make what is called an economic hardship exception. Again, this is something they do all the time, so it is certainly worth your time. Please do keep in mind that we estimate the application process will take between two and up to four weeks from the point of submitting the application to actually receiving the meds. Be sure to keep this time frame in mind so that you don't put yourself, your clients, or your loved ones in a position of missing their medications. Underneath the eligibility requirements section, you will find the application section, which lets you know the details of how to apply and the time frame in which you should expect to receive the medication. The medication section lets you know details for reapplying. And always be sure to check the additional information section. In this case, there is not anything indicated in that field. But sometimes we will put additional information there that is pertinent but doesn't fall neatly into the other categories. Before we move on from prescription assistance program into other cost savings resources, I want to point out 
our database for help with prescription assistance applications. Again, that's under the Patient Savings tab on the left-hand side. Applications for prescription assistance programs can be complicated. So we've put together a directory that lists nonprofits that help people apply to these programs. And the places we have listed are usually free or will assist you for a very small fee. And you can search for help in your area by zip code or state. And then programs are listed alphabetically by city. Returning to the patient savings tab, Next, I would like to point out our $4 generic discount drug program. This is a directory of all of the discount programs for generic medications available at major retailers. Now, although it's called the $4 generic discount drug pro program, most will range in price for a 30, 60, 90 day supply from between four and up to $15. And as you can see, there are a number of ways you can search. So let's keep it simple by doing a state search. I'm gonna see what's available in the state of Arizona. The results indicate that there are currently five $4 generic discount drug programs in that state. And hopefully you'll agree that all of the pertinent information is on your screen. The name of the store participating and a hyperlink, the program name, and the right-hand column titled Program is what's most important. It'll let you know exactly what that program offers. Let's move on to another helpful section on the Needy Meds website. Returning to the Patient Savings tab, I want to point out another really popular desti destination on the Needy Meds website, which is the free low-cost and sliding scales clinic database. You'll notice that there are four categories. In the beginning of the year, Needy Med's clinics database only had dental and medical clinics. We've since updated to also include mental health and substance addiction clinics to make your searches easier. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the medical clinics hyperlink for purposes of demonstration, but just know that all of the databases are set up the same way. And as you can see, there are more than 16,000 clinics across the country included in this database. These clinics are a great option for those, let's say, with medical but not dental coverage, maybe for those who find themselves without a primary care physician, and certainly a great alternative to an emergency room visit for those who might visit an ER, not because it is necessarily a medical emergency, but maybe because they don't have any other option. You'll see, like the other database, there are a number of ways to search. But since this database is so robust, I'm going to do a zip code search, a little bit more narrow. So you can choose to do your search narrowly in the zip code only or wide by 20 miles. I'm choosing 10 miles in the middle of the road. As you can see, there are currently 14 free, low-cost, or sliding-scale clinics in this database. I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger so you can look at the information that's now on your site. Again, I hope you'll agree that all the important data is on your screen, including the clinic name, contact information, and hyperlink to the website if one is available. The eligibility lets you know who can be seen at the clinic, and important details like whether or not a fee should be expected or the languages that the staff speaks. And the far right-hand column details let you know other pertinent information such as the services they provide, the hours that they're open, and the area they service. You'll notice that oftentimes the clinics offer a variety of services. And even if we do have the hours indicated, in this case we don't, we would always recommend to give the website, the, excuse me, to give the clinic a call or visit their website. Although we pride our information on being accurate and up to date, we certainly want you to double check before you head out the door. A really helpful tool is the printing option. Let's say you wanted to give this list of clinics to a patient or a loved one, 
you can choose print all and it'll do just that. It'll print out a list of all of these 14 clinics. But let's say you wanted to narrow it down. If that's the case, you can click on only the clinics that you're interested in and choose the print instead of the print all option. Print will generate and print a list including only the ones you chose. And again, that's a great tool for healthcare professionals or caregivers that want to provide their clients with the list of clinics for them to choose from. Now, another important database under the patient savings, savings portion of our website is the coupons and rebates database. And you may remember when we were looking at the prescription assistance programs, that icon came up. This is where you can find prescriptions and over-the-counter medications or supplies for which there is a discount, a free sample, a rebate, a coupon, a trial offer. Like the other databases, there are a number of ways you can search. You can search for the name of the drug. You can search by the name of the product. But in this case, you can also search by category, which means medical category. And then an alphabetical list comes up. I'm going to go ahead and choose blood pressure so you can get a sense of what the results will yield. We actually just updated the way the coupons are listed to make it easier to read. We used to just have a paragraph description, but now we've broken the pertinent information down into bullet points, making it easier. Like the Prescription Assistance Programs database, these icons pop up. That's really helpful because, it, again, it lets you know what other healthcare cost savings programs available and if there is any further information that will help you learn more about that drug. One thing I do want to remind you, as I said in the beginning, prescription assistance programs offer the most savings for name brand medications. So if you're perusing through the coupons database and you happen to find one that offers a prescription assistance program, you're going to want to see if you qualify for that first because it will pretty much always offer you much heftier savings than a coupon will. In addition to some details about what this coupon or rebate or trial offer or cost savings program will offer you, you'll also find the bullet points of more information, a link to the manufacturer's website, and we recently updated it, so from this location on our website, you can also text, email, or print your own Needy Meds drug discount card. And of course, we'll get to why a drug discount card should be important for you and your family and the population you serve a little bit later on in the presentation. Now, aside from the prescription assistance programs, the second greatest source of savings is through our diagnosis-based assistance programs. Diagnosis-based assistance programs provide financial assistance for costs associated with a particular disease. Now, this database is different because for the most part, it doesn't include medications. What it does include instead are other necessary medical supplies. For example, maybe you need durable medical equipment or testing or needles, or maybe you're looking for help affording a wig or house cleaning services or assistive technology. Like the other databases, you can search in a number of ways. You can search probably by the least common program name. You can search geographically to see what's available in your state or nationwide. Nationwide meaning regardless of where you live in a country, you will be eligible to apply or you can search by diagnosis. Because this database is a pretty robust one, like the prescription assistance programs, we have the easy A to Z index. And for diagnosis-based assistance programs, I like to demonstrate by using diabetes. So I'll click on the D in the A to Z index, and you'll notice that because diabetes is such a broad category, it's broken up into a number of subcategories. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just click on the diabetes hyperlink. 
the reason I use diabetes as an example, because not only is this such a common diagnosis in our country, but it's a great example of a diagnosis that requires a lot of expense in addition to medication. Diabetics need things like testing strips, syringes or sharks, sometimes assistive technology. Currently, there are 63 diagnosis-based assistance programs for diabetes. And again, it's broken down into sort of a spreadsheet of columns with the most important information. The column on the left, the program name, will provide a hyperlink if one is available to that program. Then you'll find a summary. And the two most important pieces of information are on the far right of your screen, the column labeled services that this program provides and the area of service. Now, as you can see, these services will vary greatly from program to program. Some will offer medical supplies, some will offer assistive technology or durable medical equipment, some will offer helping you get respite care or even service animals. You'll notice you keep seeing the word national on the right-hand side. That's because we list all of the national programs at the top and then the programs per state are listed after that alphabetically. Now, since we are on the topic of finding assistance based on di diagnosis, I want to point out, again, under the Patient Savings tab and returning to the middle, our diagnosis information pages. These are informational or educational pages dedicated to specific diagnoses. Our goal is to partner with reputable organizations, usually other nonprofits, to provide the most comprehensive information about a particular diagnosis. And on these pages, you'll find concise description and up-to-date statistics about the diagnosis. You'll also find reputable resources. And probably what makes these diagnosis-based assistance programs stand out from other informational destinations on the internet is at the bottom, you'll find a hyperlinked list of medications commonly used in the treatment of that diagnosis. That means all you have to do is click on that medication and it will automatically find whether or not there is some cost savings program available, be it a prescription assistance program or a coupon. Returning to the Patient Savings tab, hopefully at this point, you're starting to see that all of the databases are set up similarly. That's purposeful. We hope that once you start searching around our website, it will become intuitive and you'll be able to find what you need by a quick click of the mouse. Of course, if you ever have any difficulty, or let's say you want to refer a patient or a loved one to needy meds and they don't have the luxury of having the internet at home or a computer, you can refer them to our expert call center counselors. That's at 1-800-503-6897. We are in Massachusetts and so we're in East Coast time. We're available Monday through Friday, nine to five. So again, returning to that patient savings tab, Hopefully you're getting the sense that all of our databases are set up similarly, so I'm not going to go in detail about the next few. I'm simply going to mention them so you're aware that they're here, and I do encourage you to come back and further peruse our website. A relatively recent addition is the medical transportation section, which is exactly what it sounds like. Sometimes it's difficult to, for people to get to and from a doctor or specialized facility. Well, you can check out the medical transportation section to hopefully help get that person to and from. We also have databases dedicated to helping people find retreats, camps, recreational programs, and educational scholarships for people living with a particular diagnosis. And we also have a whole section for government programs. This will let you include, this will let you see what state sponsored programs are available. And it also has pretty exhaustive Medicare and Medicaid information. Now, as I switch back out of the live website, 
to the PowerPoint presentation to talk to you about another really important way you can save with your healthcare healthcare expenses is with the Needy Meds drug discount card. I will remind you that if you have any questions, you can type them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. What you're looking at now is just a recap of the cost savings resources we just reviewed. I'm sure you noticed that there's tons of other destinations on the Needy Meds website, so I do encourage you again to revisit our site when you have a chance to look around a bit more. In the meantime, let's talk about the Needy Meds drug discount card. Now, I'm sure you've heard of drug discount cards. So let's talk about why Needy Meds is different and it, why we think it will help you the most. The Needy Meds drug discount card, bear with me, sorry about that, differs mostly by the fact that it is not only free, but it is completely anonymous. What that means is that we do not collect any personal information about its users, nor do we track that information. In addition to ours being free and anonymous, there is no registration, there is no enrollment, there are no residency requirements, and you don't have to activate the card. The drug discount card can be used for prescription medications, over-the-counter medications as long as they're written as prescriptions, and you can even use it on your pet medications if you pick it up at the people pharmacy instead of at the vet. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about that. You can shoot me a message in the questions section, and I would be happy to email you a link with a less than 10-minute video showing you how to use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save on your pet meds. We have found that the card can save up to 80% off of the cash price. A few other facts to keep in mind. The Needy Meds drug discount card is accepted in more than 65,000 pharmacies, including all national and local chains. And even the mom and pop shops pharmacies, if you have one in your community. Do keep in mind that not every drug or product will be discounted, and the Needy Meds drug discount card only works for brick and mortar pharmacies. It is not accepted online. So here's the big question. Who can use the card? The answer is simple, anyone. The only rule is it cannot be combined with insurance. So if you're uninsured, you can use the card anytime. If you have insurance, you may choose to use the card instead, and you may do that because maybe you find that your medication is not covered under your insurance. Maybe you find that your copayment is too high, your deductible is too high. Maybe you find yourself in a coverage gap, or maybe you've exceeded a cap for drug coverage for the year. Importantly, how can you request your Needy Meds drug discount card and maximize savings. So bear with me once again while we transition out of the PowerPoint presentation back to the Needy Meds website. So as you would guess, there's a number of links that will take you to the Needy Meds drug discount card page, and you can find it simply on the left-hand side on that red arrow. This is the page where you can request your Needy Meds drug discount card. First of all, very simply, you can click on the printable, downloadable PDF, and all you'd have to do is that. Once this image comes up, you'll print out this page and cut out that card at the top. The information the pharmacist needs is on the left-hand side. You can also fill out the form here, being sure to you to choose a design. You can mail us a self-addressed stamped envelope to our P.O. box, or of, of course, you can give our help center counselors a call and they'll be happy to drop one or several in the mail. Of course, if you work for an organization and need to receive a bulk supply, we can do that as well. And I'll give you the contact information with how to do that at the end of the presentation. So now let's say you have your drug discount card. The next step would be trying to find out what pharmacy in your area accepts the drug discount card. Well, very conveniently at the bottom of that drug discount card page, you'll find what we call the pharmacy search. And all you'll have to do is type in the zip code 
for where you'd like to pick up the medication. And again, we'll do a little bit of a broad search. And the results will let you know what pharmacies in your area do accept the Needy Meds drug discount card. And as you can see, because it's accepted in more than 65,000 pharmacies, the results will be um, pretty lengthy. And you'll notice there are, of course, the large national trains such as Walgreens and Walmart, but you'll also notice that there are other smaller or regional pharmacies as well. And all of the information you'll need about that pharmacy is now on your screen, including the contact information and address, even a map of the pharmacy. And of course, you can print this list if you'd like to share it or hang on to it. So now you've got your drug discount card and you know what pharmacies in your area participate in accepting the Needy Meds drug discount card. The last piece of information you'll want to know is how much is your medication going to cost using the Needy Meds drug discount card. Simply click on the left-hand side box labeled Drug Pricing Calculator. To find out what your medication will cost, you'll need to know the pharmacy zip code where you'd like to pick up the prescription, the prescription name, the dosage, and the day supply, meaning is the prescription for 30, 60, or 90 days. Then with the pharmacy track, excuse me, with the pharmacy tracker and the drug calculator, you can find out where to pick up your medication and what you'll be paying before you head out the door. Again, if you don't have access to the internet, our call center counselors would be happy to do that work for you. I also want to point out on the left-hand side, we now have the Needy Med Storyline app. This is a free self-care app that not only makes it easier for you, easy for you to track and manage your health conditions, but it also comes with an already built-in Needy Meds drug discount card. So that's really great if you want to make sure you have access to the Needy Meds drug discount card on your mobile device. On the top left-hand side, a couple of those things I want to point out. You know, we already reviewed the hyperlink to YouTube. And I hope you do follow us on Facebook. It's a great way to stay up to date with what is going on with needy meds and other healthcare-related topics that are timely. So we encourage you certainly to visit Facebook, Twitter, and stay up to date with what's going on. One of the things that I want to point out also when this, face, this page is loading, um, at the top of this page, what I wanted to show you is we have a new initiative called Ask Needy Meds. Ask Needy Meds was created to answer any questions you may have about healthcare, insurance, cost savings resources, and other related healthcare topics. Visit ask.needymeds.org to check out the new videos and submit any questions you may have. We'd love for you to participate. I do see some questions coming in, so we'll get to those in just a moment. In the meantime, bear with me because once again, I'm going to transition out of the live website and onto the PowerPoint presentation so I can bring to your attention some of our other upcoming special topic webinars. And again, you can register for those on the bottom right hand on the Needy Meds calendar of events. As promised, there's a contact information for Needy Meds at the very bottom, our toll-free helpline. Above that is the email from my colleague, Alana. I mentioned a while ago, if you were interested in receiving a bulk supply of drug discount cards or educational brochures, you can shoot her an email. And we love to hear your feedback about what you think of our nonprofit by posting a review or writing a comment on greatnonprofits.org. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and address some of the questions coming in. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. So let's see. We do have a number of people writing in because they are interested in receiving more information about how to use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save on your pet medications. So again, if you are interested in receiving that, let me know by just shooting me a quick, quick message. 
in the GoToWebinar control panel, and I would have, will be happy to share, you, share with you a link to a less than 10 minute video that'll let you do, that'll explain to you everything you need to know. So we have a number of people writing in about spe help for specific medications or uh, diagnosis related expenses. So if you're looking for help with the medication, especially if it's name brand, you're gonna start by searching under the Prescription Assistance Programs database. If you don't have any luck there, you can move on to the Coupons database. And if it's generic medication, you're gonna to wanna to start your search under the $4 generic discount drug program. If you are looking for help for an expense that is not medication, you're going to begin your search, again, under the Patient Savings tab, under diagnosis-based assistance programs. And again, if you have any difficulty or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our expert call center counselors. Again, that's 1-800-503-6897. So we have another question coming in about somebody with a specific high income, but no insurance. One thing I will say is a lot of people, I think, I did before I make here, make the wrong assumption that programs available are only to help people in a low socioeconomic bracket, and that's not always the case. What I would say is reach out to Needy Meds, and we can find out if we can connect you to a program that will help you afford that medication. As I said, the eligibility requirements will vary from program to program, and sometimes it may look like on paper you don't qualify, but if you reach out to the program and, again, make what's called an economic hardship exception, they may be willing to work with you on that. So we have a question about the workings of the drug discount card, and drug discount cards all work the same way. An organization that has a drug discount card, in this case, Needy Meds, hires an adjudicator or a benefits manager. That manager will work to negotiate prices with the pharmacy, and all three of those, or those entities get a transaction fee. Needy Meds, the adjudicator, as well as the pharmacy. That's how they all work. We're getting some questions about how often we update the Needy Meds website. We say between every three to six months, and in particular, a great example on the Prescription Assistance Programs database, at the bottom of all of the pages, you will find the exact date in which it was updated. Again, we pride ourselves on our information being accurate and up to date. If you do see something that is outdated, or outright incorrect, we do hope that you would share that with us. We consider all of our users partners, so that would be really helpful. If you're interested in receiving educational brochures, please don't hesitate to shoot me a message in that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel, and we will be get back in touch with you regarding your preferred mailing address and how many you'd like to receive. Keep in mind, we do have all of our educational material in Spanish as well, and you can find other downloadable brochures in PDF versions on the Needy Meds website under the Advocates tab. And thank you for asking. The webinar that I just gave will be converted into a video and posted on our YouTube channel. That usually takes, up, takes us a couple of days, so please do check back. And the last question I'm going to address is that, yes, this presentation, this slideshow deck is available. I converted it into a PDF, and I uploaded it into the handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. If you're having trouble downloading it, don't hesitate again to shoot me a message in that question section and I'll be happy to email it to you. You can expect me to get back to you by tomorrow morning at the latest. Of course, in the meantime, if you have any questions, please visit our website or call our expert call center counselors at 1-800-503-6897.
Thank you again for participating in the Needy Meds Overview webinar, and we do hope you keep in touch. I look forward to seeing some of your questions pop up in our Ask Needy Meds initiative. Thanks so much, and have a great rest of the day.